Meghan is pregnant. In very happy news, a Kensington Palace insider has confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex is pregnant and has all but cleared her diary to ensure she rests as much as possible. The news comes after it was revealed that Meghan gave her first major sit-down interview since joining the royal family. However, while everyone is excited for the couple, organizers for Prince Harry's upcoming Invictus Games are now scrambling to reorganize the event as they expect Meghan's planned appearance and tour of Australia will be cancelled in a matter of weeks. Unsurprisingly, Harry's full attendance at the event is also in doubt as New Idea has learned he's keen to spend as little time as possible away from his new wife and what is being described as a high-risk pregnancy. The palace is talking in riddles without stating the obvious, the source tells New Idea, but Meghan will pull out of the games and, more importantly, her first royal tour to Australia and New Zealand, once they make the official announcement when she is given the three-month all clear. The Duchess did have time to make one last public appearance, however. Joining her husband at a gala performance in London of the musical Hamilton, the 37-year-old was glowing in a black tuxedo mini-dress. Meghan has cancelled all her planned media appearances to support the Invictus Games, which takes place in Sydney from October 20th to 27th. This has raised eyebrows at the ABC which, as host broadcaster, was promised an exclusive interview with the new royal. Kensington Palace is being very protective of Meghan. She was expected to play a big role to support the event, as it's her first as Harry's wife. But now everything's changed and no one's been given an official reason, although they're all guessing correctly that a baby announcement isn't far off, explains the source. On August 20th, it was announced that David Beckham had signed up as an ambassador to the Invictus Games and will be present throughout the event. It's now understood the former sportsman is a last-minute backup to cover for Harry, whose presence will be significantly scaled back. ABC and Invictus have been informed Harry may not be at the closing ceremony due to personal reasons, so they need to be prepared for this. It's left them shell-shocked as he always opens and closes the games, adds the insider. Despite shying away from public appearances, Meghan has had a busy summer. She has given a lengthy interview to the team behind the new documentary series Queen of the World, about the role of Queen Elizabeth. She and Harry adopted a new puppy, thought to be a Labrador, and the former suit star spent much of the UK summer visiting friends, and no doubt sharing her baby news and gathering advice on her impending motherhood. After she and Harry visited Amal and George Clooney, who are tipped to be the couple's first choice as godparents, in Lake Como, Meghan took a solo trip to Toronto where she caught up with best friend Jessica Moroni, then travelled on to Los Angeles to see her mother, Doria Ragland. Significantly, both Amala and Jessica have twins, prompting speculation that Meghan is also having a multiple pregnancy. Amal gave birth at the Lindo Wing of London's St. Mary's Hospital where gynecologist Guy Thorpe Beeston is a consultant obstetrician. Guy who specializes in high-risk births and multiple deliveries, helped deliver sister-in-law Kate's children, and will likely also work with Meghan.